Now let's talk about breath in terms of intimacy. There are different ways to breathe when doing self-love, and we talk about solo practices, meaning stimulating yourself sexually. Yes, masturbation, I said it. And then also partner practices. And we need to do our solo practices to prepare for our partner dance. It's like you have to learn a little bit of the steps by yourself so you don't go step on your partner's toes, let's say. So you do these solo practices, you develop your own self-awareness and understanding of your body, and then you can go into the dance with someone else without causing any trouble during the dance. But you can also do the dance together as you develop along the path. It's not like you need to do so many months of solo practice first, and then you do partner practice. Don't worry, I'm not telling you you have to stop loving somebody else physically. What I'm saying is that every day we do a little bit of solo practice because that's going to make our partner dance that much more beautiful. So when we breathe together now, we've done our solo practice, we've understood how the breath works. When we breathe together, and we're going to do this in a moment with someone else, there's two ways to do it. Simultaneous breathing, meaning we inhale together and we exhale together. What happens when we breathe together? We come into a, another subtle level of connection. And when we breathe what's called reciprocal breath, as Let's say my partner exhales, I'm inhaling, breathing her breath into my body. And as I exhale, she's inhaling, and we share our energy back and forth. And we can do this nose to nose. Sometimes you can even do it with the mouth open and mouths together, and then it gets really interesting because there's a lot of carbon dioxide involved and you actually get pretty high. So there's lots of ways to get high in yoga, trust me. Um, I wanna go teach in drug rehab centers how to get high with the yoga eventually. So the idea is that we start to learn to bring the breath into lovemaking, okay? We can also do this while we're doing our self-lovemaking skills because we use the breath to then move the energy through the body. I build a bunch of energy here through my self-stimulation. Do I just want it to sit at the second chakra? No, I want to activate all of my being with my sexual energy. So I can inhale it up to the heart. I can inhale it up to the third eye and open all of the capacities that are relevant to these different chakras. Or let's say I want to nourish my whole being. I do my self-stimulation and then I move it through that microcosmic orbit that I just talked about, the Taoist practice, up the spine, down the front, up the spine, down the front. And as it's moving through the spine, it's opening that central channel and it's energizing the chakras anyway. So the microcosmic orbit is very powerful. And what's really beautiful is when you start to do microcosmic orbit with your partner in lovemaking. So that's a little tough to do while you're moving, but you go into energizing the being through lovemaking and then you come to a place of stillness and you do a microcosmic orbit together. So we start, let's say I would, someone chooses the guiding role, we bring the awareness to the genitals, the yoni and the lingam, and I say, okay, let's begin. Exhale, and as she exhales, I inhale up my spine, and she's exhaling up my spine. And then our tongues are either touching each other or they're touching the roof of our mouth. Remember I said, to connect that energy circuit, you touch the tongue to the roof of your own mouth. But you can connect to your partner with the mouth by touching the tongues together. It's best to have left nostril to left nostril because that's the one that's receiving energy. So you can exhale through the left nostril, but it's good to receive through the left side, yes? And as I'm inhaling up, she's exhaling up my spine. Then she's inhaling, and I'm exhaling down her spine, and we create a microcosmic orbit that unites the two of us. Now remember, we often want to bring the energy up through the spine, so I just had my turn of bringing the energy up my spine. Now it's her turn. So she inhales up her spine as I exhale up her spine. Then I inhale down mine, or excuse me, exhale down mine as she inhales down mine. So you see what I'm saying? We're reciprocating each other. We're sending the breath and we're creating this incredible microcosmic orbit that's now joining two beings into one energy circuit. We call it one circle of light. So by breathing together, we create this deeper connection. And that also creates a sense of expansion because now it's just, not just my energy field, it's mine joined with another. And if we're in that masculine feminine role, it becomes the union of Shiva and Shakti, of that masculine and feminine energy coming together to become one beautiful force field of energy. And when we do this, as I was mentioning before, extremely healing. You're removing blockages in your body, in your emotions, in your mind, and in your energy chakras by breathing together. 
you get much more powerful energy together. This is why Tantra taps into sexuality because here's an energy that's now so much stronger than the energy you had when you were alone. Sure, you can do the whole path alone, but it's rather dry and lonely. Now let's bring the lovemaking into it and utilize something that we already want to do and have fun with, but bring it into the spiritual development of our being. It's a good way to evolve, <laughs> very fun way to evolve.